said, A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allah Ta'ala says to us, Fabi ayyi ala irabbikum atuka ziban. Or which of the favors of Allah Ta'ala will we deny? So the first uh, um, item in this lecture is to develop the feeling of shukr for Allah, to understand the blessings of Allah and to be thankful to Allah for them. Allah Ta'ala says, Wa is ta'zana rabbukum la in shakartum la azidannakum. So one of the uh, elders has said that most of the amal we, amal we do, the rewards are promised for the akhir and the jannah. But this shukr is one amal for which the reward is promised in this dunya. I will increase you in favor. That is, if we give shukr to Allah, he will increase our blessings in this world. We will see, we'll see the uh, results of our uh, shukr already in this world. So this is the secret for success in this life. To be thankful to Allah for whatever we have been given. Allah Ta'ala says that We count the blessings of Allah. We can never count them. But this doesn't mean that we should not count. Actually, this means that we should count with the understanding that we cannot ever complete this count. So when we wake up in the mornings, we should be thankful to Allah for giving us life after a miniature death. And we should resolve to make use of this day uh, in the best possible way because we should think that this may be the last day which is given to us. And we should be grateful for health, security, clear mind, for the security of food and for the time we have been given, given, and for energy and for all of the blessings that we have at the same time knowing that we cannot count these blessings. Our Prophet Muhammad is the perfect example for us in all dimensions. So there is a hadith that the Prophet would pray all night. So it was said to him that, why do you do this when Allah Ta'ala has forgiven all your past and your future sins? So the Prophet said that, shall I not be a grateful servant? So we should worship Allah Ta'ala with a feeling of gratitude that this opportunity has been given to us. As a personal, as a personal example from my own life, I used to feel very lazy in getting up for Fajr Salat. And then I remembered a verse from Iqbal which says that uh, hum se kab pyar hai, haan, neen tumhe pyari hai, that you do not love me, Allah Ta'ala is addressing us, but you love the comfort of your need of, of your sleep, which has been given to you by Allah. So when I would recite this verse, it would motivate me that how what kind of a man am I that I am uh, being ingrateful to my Allah for the little command that has he has given me when. Uh, he has given me such huge favors. So uh, there is a hadith which says that if you adopt these two habits, you will be counted among the people who are grateful. And the two habits are that in worldly affairs, look to those who have less than you and give thanks for all that you have. And in matters of, of the deen, look to those who have more than you and seek to follow them. If you do that, Allah Ta'ala will count you among those who have who are who are uh, thankful and also those who are content with what they have been given those who have sabr in another hadith the prophet sallallahu told us that we should be grateful for the small things because whoever is not grateful for the little things will not be grateful for the large things and whoever does not thank the people for the favors they do to him has not thanked allah ta'ala so every day we should be thankful that we have been given this additional opportunity to, to buy Jannah with good deeds. And uh, one must remember that success lies today. We are used to thinking that, oh, I will make a long-term plan and when I graduate and then I have a career and then I have a house, this will be success. This is a very uh, false idea. Success, we can, we can achieve today if we do the things that Allah Ta'ala wants us to do. And we also fail today if we fail to do. So the, at the end of the day, the record book for the deeds of that day will be closed. And if we have managed to get good things written onto this day, then we have succeeded. And if we have not, then we have failed. 
ingratitude, lack of shukr, comes from excess. And Allah Ta'ala has given us a number of verses that if Allah Ta'ala gives lots of things to the people, they become rebellious. And this is especially the example of the Qarun, who has given so many treasures that his servants had to carry them, uh, the keys to them. And he swelled up with pride. And when asked to give a zakat, he said that, no, I, I'm entitled to this because I have earned it due to my own knowledge. So this is the, um, this is the lack of gratitude to Allah Ta'ala, which we must avoid. And especially if we have been given many blessings, this is, uh, we are prone to fall into neglect because we are so comfortable. And so we must fight this tendency. Allah Ta'ala has also said that do not covet what Allah Ta'ala has given to others more than you. you. Why we feel if somebody has a bigger house or a bigger job or a bigger title or more money, we feel jealous. Uh, this comes from a feeling of uh, deserving, that I deserve more. And if you think of yourself as the worst person on the planet, planet then you will not have kibr. And then you will say that whatever I have been given is more than what I deserve. And if you see somebody who has uh, who is in worse condition, you should make dua to Allah Ta'ala that Allah, thank to Allah Ta'ala that you have Allah Ta'ala has protected you from that, even though you deserved worse than that. And if you see somebody better off than that, then you should make dua to Allah Ta'ala that oh Allah Ta'ala make this trial easy for him or her. Because uh, excess wealth is a, a, a difficult trial from Allah Ta'ala. So Allah Ta'ala says in Allah Ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, فَأَمَّا الْإِنسَانُ إِذَا مَا بْتَلَاهُ رَبَّهُ فَأَكْرَمَهُ وَنَعَمَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَا بْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرْ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقُهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَحَانًا So Allah Ta'ala says both of these things that if you give a lot of wealth to somebody, this is a trial. And uh, people forget that Allah Ta'ala has honored me. Actually, having more than what you need is not, is not an honor from Allah Ta'ala. It is a, a trial. And if you succeed in that trial, this is a great blessing to have excess wealth. And if you fail, it is uh, harmful for you. Similarly, having less than what you need is also, also a trial. It is not a sign that Allah Ta'ala doesn't like you. 